Welcome to Dump Truck Toolbox. I'm Alan, and we're going to do a hauling tale today about driving against traffic on the interstate. I've worked on this job site a number of times and I've even um, done a video here. Today we're putting down crushed concrete and this is a, an a interesting challenge. I, um, I have to cross that ramp there to get to this side where they have the crushed concrete stored. I need to uh, to turn around so that uh, I can go back the other way. So I'm going to pull up past the excavator and uh, turn around and come back. I'm driving a quad, which is a large dump truck, but it's our smaller one. And good thing, because I couldn't make this turn I'm about to do in a quint. So I set up on the far left near the Jersey wall and then I crank the wheel hard right and I creep forward to get as close to the guardrail on the other side of the closed off road here. And so I'm going to back up here and we're going to keep count. So this is reverse number one and I crank the wheel as far as I can before I move it. If you look in the rear view camera at the bottom there, you can see me backing up towards the Jersey wall. And there's just not a lot of, uh, of free room here. So I stop, crank the wheel hard right, and then <laughs> reverse two, reverse three, reverse four, reverse five, reverse six. Um, sped up because it gets sort of boring. I have to reverse so much. And uh, then I'm, I'm able to clear, and I'm going to head back down to the excavator to get loaded. And now I am actually pointing against traffic. Now, I'm not going to go out onto the main interstate there, obviously. Um, but in a minute, you'll see what, what I'm talking about. So I stop here and uh, put on the parking brake. And uh, while he's loading me, I, I cut out a little bit of the dead time. I have a, a fellow driver who's in the uh, dump truck coming our way out under the bridge there. And he's going to um, uh, come across that ramp again, just like I did a few minutes ago. And this driver is more experienced than I am. He's actually tried a couple different things to speed up the process. And he finally hit upon this one, which is to um, turn around up here. And the, uh, the really smart idea is there's this grassy patch uh, between the part of the interstate we're working on and the exit ramp we had to cross. And he's going to back so that his rear wheels go up onto that grassy patch. And that gives a lot more room to make the, uh, the turnaround. And he actually, I think, could have completed the turnaround in one move here. Uh, but no reason, no reason to push it. So he backed up a little bit, and cranked the wheel over, and he's clearing the jersey wall on the right there. <coughs> it's a better way to do it. Um, and it, it speeds up our our transfer time quite a bit. And so I get finished loading in just a second here. And then I'm going to head back across the, the ramp. You'll notice um, uh, one of our co-workers standing there in the, uh, the vest and the um, hard hat. And what he's doing is serving as another set of eyes. 
when you're up in a dump truck, you have so many blind spots that when you're traveling through a, a, a potentially risky area like this, it's nice to have someone outside the truck to help you out. So put it in gear there, head out, and here is where I'm going to cross against traffic. When I was first told we were going to do this, I was like, okay, uh, thinking it would actually be much riskier than it turned out to be. So there, my spotter's giving me the signal, wait. He's uh, watching the cars up there, and that's sort of a confusing spot where people change lanes. Now I'm getting the go, 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 go signal, and uh, make it across with plenty of room. So why are we moving this gravel? This part of the uh, roadbed was uh, put in shape for the, the paving process to begin. And early this morning, I came in with this truck, and they put, oh, 10 or 15 tons of, of sand on the back of, of the truck. And then they asked me to do a roll test. And I had never done a roll test before. Basically, I lined up on the side of the, the uh, dirt roadbed next to the Jersey Wall and drove very slowly with all the weight on the back of the truck to make sure that this underlayer was uh, going to be solid enough. So the guy in the bulldozer there gave me the signal to go up and turn around and come back before I dump out. So I did the roll test. I went all the way down the, the dirt section here uh, near the Jersey Wall and then I reset the truck one truck width over and backed down to this end again and then reset the truck, moved it one truck width further over and then pulled forward and I did that back and forth, I don't know, probably five or six times. The last time I was, I was as far away from the Jersey Wall as the roadway gets and I uh, surprisingly dropped down into the the packed uh, uh, gravel there. Okay, so now I'm about to do the U-turn here. And I thought I had a good spot to do this. I thought I'd, I'd, the rear of the truck would end up in a big, uh, big blank area over there on the other side of the... Um, the service vehicle that has one of those flashing signs on its back saying uh, road closed or move over or something. And I misjudged it enough that the rear of my dump truck clears this time. It clears that other truck, but I'm pointing right at these um, stacked Jersey wall segments in front of me. So I can't go real far forward. If you look in the rear view camera there, you can see the front tire of that service truck. And when I crank the wheel over, I'm going to head right towards that truck. And so I'm giving up oh, eight or nine feet of distance behind my dump truck as well. And so I actually picked a fairly tight spot to do this. And so once again, I, uh, I'm uh, going to have to back up a number of times. And um, you know, it's never good to touch anything with a dump truck, but touching someone else's truck, especially on the side where they have uh, sheet metal fenders, is a really bad idea. So I'm being extra careful here. I'm not, I'm not cutting it close at all. So I probably could have made the turn in um, uh, one or two fewer uh, backing maneuvers, but uh, I, I, just, I just really took my time here. So I think I'm going to back up enough this time and then when I roll forward, I think I clear this time. And when I do, I'm going to be lined up more or less like my last roll test run. And I wanted to get back to that part of the story. Um, and so I'm doing the last roll test over there where you can see the, the yellow bulldozer going down. and. Um, my uh, front tire, I was heading forward, pointing forward, my front tire dropped down 
in the supposedly packed uh, gravel there and it turned out that I dropped down oh probably two or three feet and so I rolled forward and they signaled me to stop and they went over and they're looking at it and there's an engineer on site and I think someone from the State Department of Transportation and in, in doing all that you know they they're like obviously disappointed so then then they signal me to go on forward and uh, I go another 20 or 30 feet and I drop down again and probably even a bigger hole the second time and so um, the engineers and our local uh, supervisor on the site put their heads together and the plan they came up with was to dig out a um, about a truck's width worth of of the packed down gravel and uh, um, they dumped some uh, bigger rocks number three rocks into the bottom of one of the holes and then they did some other stuff in the other hole and then we started over with brand new crushed concrete so I'm backing here into position to dump out the load of crushed concrete I picked up about 10 minutes ago. And uh, I pull up a close-up of the, the rear view camera. You can see the red light came on. That's the PTO that uh, lifts the bed. And then the yellow light, which is the uh, body, um, the, the bed indicator saying it's up. You can see my tailgate swinging there. And, uh, and there it is. It's sticking on even further. And you can see the gravel coming out. And they had us uh, dump in different positions just for efficiency so the bulldozer wouldn't have to move the material as far. And we worked on this all day. I think I did 12 or 13 of these very short trips across the ramp. In addition, I did a couple of longer trips. I, I made a trip or two to get the number three rock, and and then uh, they had some fill dirt to get rid of. So I made a, a trip to get rid of the fill dirt, and and and, uh, and so uh, it was it was an interesting day. It was a, a you know a varied and uh, a just enough of a of a driving challenge to to keep me engaged. So here I'm pulling forward. And the tailgate will slap once, and then I lower the bed. The light went off. Passing my partner there. He's got a load of gravel. He'll go up and turn around. And then I'm getting into position to go across the ramp here. And I'm getting the signal. Come on, come on. i got to bump over this, uh, this lip in the, the pavement. And I'm going to head up here and turn around again. And I want to take this chance to... Uh, thank you for watching today's video. It's always a, a pleasure to hang out with you. Um, if today's video was useful or interesting, especially the backing here, um, please click the like button and uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. That helps other people find our channel. Until next time, uh, I'm Alan. And I hope to see you again soon on the Dump Truck Toolbox. Be safe out there, though. Don't drive the wrong way on the interstate. So see you again soon.